Said Sadiq Said Abdurrahman, the Muar MP, has been granted a temporary release of his court-impounded passport to travel to Singapore and Taiwan. A three-judge court of appeal panel, led by Judge Hadaria Said Ismail, unanimously approved the passport release from today until June 18th. When Hadaria inquired if the prosecution had any objections, Deputy Public Prosecutor Muhammad Afif Ali confirmed they did not, deeming the reasons for the request reasonable. The panel, also including Judges Mohamed Zaini Mazlan and Azmi Arifin, approved the application from Syed Sadiq's lawyer Hisham Te Po Teik for an official letter allowing travel during this period. Syed Sadiq's passport is held by the court pending his appeal against his conviction and a sentence of seven years in jail, a 10 million ringgit fine, and two strokes of the cane for criminal breach of trust, misappropriation of funds, and money laundering. On May 8th, Bernama reported that Syed Sadiq requested the temporary passport release to attend his close friend's daughter's wedding on May 18th in Singapore. In his affidavit, the former youth and sports minister mentioned his desire to honor the invitation from his friend George Yo Yong Boon, a former Singapore foreign minister who has been a mentor to him. Syed Sadiq, 31, also stated that he was invited by the Taipei Economic and Cultural Office in Malaysia to visit Taiwan from June. June 10th to June 15 as a Malaysian representative. Last November 9, the Kuala Lumpur High Court found Syed Sadiq guilty and sentenced him. However, the execution of this sentence is on hold pending his appeal. Syed Sadiq was charged with abetting the former assistant treasurer of the Bursatu Youth Wing, Rafiq Hakim Razali, in misappropriating 1 million ringgit of the wing's funds. He was also charged with misappropriating 120,000 ringgit from Armada Bumi Bursatu Enterprises, May Bank Islamic Berhad account by directing Rafiq to dispose of the money. Additionally, Syed Sadiq faces two counts under the Anti-Money Laundering, Anti-Terrorism Financing and Proceeds of Unlawful Activities Act 2001 for laundering 50,000 ringgit each through various transactions.